Hey guys, it's Storm Rains. I know it's been a couple of weeks since the last time I posted. I've been enjoying my vacation, spending time with my family. Um, this week's video is basically about where is your trust in God. So I have four scriptures here that I'm going to read before we get started, before I start saying anything else. So the first one is going to be Joshua 1 9. Have I not, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. The second one is Psalms 9, 10. Those who know your name, trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. The third one, Psalms 13, 5. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. And the fourth one is Psalms 31, 14. But I trust in you, Lord. I say, you are my God. And those are the four scriptures. I will make sure to put it in the description at the end of the video. So that way you guys can go and read it and look at it yourself. Um, basically, we're just going to talk and evaluate our trust in God. Um, sorry. The first one, well, um, basically, how do you move forward or how far have you come in life, you know, it, and trusting the God, you know, because it, it confuses me when people say that they don't have any trust in God, that their faith is not there, you know, because of what because of the situations that they've been through, which, you know, I understand you are going through hard times and because of those hard times, you have lost your faith or lost your trust in God and you're just trying to figure out where do you go from there? Where, where do, where's the next step? And the only step is to have faith and trust in God because you're not going to be able to, you're not going to make it, you're not going to be able to do anything without him. I, I can keep guarantee it like I've been telling you guys I would not be on this earth I would not be living if I did not have any trust and faith in God yes I did stray from what God had planned for me yes I did lose myself I never lost my faith and I never lost my trust in God it was something that just helps helped to keep me grounded though I was out there in the world and I was sinning and I wasn't being a woman of God I just simply was doing me and that didn't get me anywhere it didn't get me to where I needed to be it hasn't didn't take me where I was supposed to be where God had me set up so um it's just not gonna be a long video um as you can hear the kids are running in and out of the house um um basically you just have to find your find yourself basically pace yourself look at everything that you're doing see how the progress is not being made you are trying to be someone and be somewhere that you can't because you don't have any faith you don't have any trust in God is everything that you need in life and I, I promise you I'm not lying I'm not trying to discourage you or redirect you from anything that you've been doing but I'm just basically saying that just keep reading keep praising God keep having faith in him because I can guarantee, you know, you won't, you won't get as far. Like I said in my last video, in order for you to succeed, you have to have faith and trust in God. As he has, he, he has, you know, I can't speak for God, but I can speak from my experience. And he has faith that we will stay with him that we will continue to trust him and listen to his word yes we are his children and as children we you know children do 
tend to derail from the course that they've set for them or what they have planned. But the only thing that we can do is learn from those mistakes and continue to trust in God, continue to be there, you know, because where, where do you think you would be, honestly? Where do you think you would be? Um, my sister, <coughs> Jaleesa Hall, she just recently got her license and she worked her butt off. She went to school. She did the reading. She did the eight-hour courses that was required and even con even did more than eight hours that was required so that she can get what she's needed. And throughout all of that, she continued her faith and trust in God and by her doing that, she's been able to have and do whatever it is that she has wanted because God has provided it for her. He has provided it for her. And that's what I'm saying. You keep your faith and your trust in God and you continue to walk by Him without judging Him or cursing Him. And He will bless you. He will bless you beyond anything you could ever imagine. And that's what I, that's what I, yes, I may not have everything that I want. I may not have everything that I need, but I have God and I have my children and my family. And that is perfectly, and that is enough for me. And I'm grateful for it. I, um, like I said, everybody's experience is different. Everybody, uh, everybody's, um, learning experience is different. And even if it is kind of the same, but still different, um, you can only like you can only do you. You can only go by what you know and how you know living life is going to treat you. So basically, you just need to continue trusting God, continue having faith, like it said. And um, sorry, like it said in Joshua one nine, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And he will. He will always He will always be wherever you need him to be. He will always be there by your side. He will always give you that and more. He'll give you love. He'll give you understanding. He'll give you compassion. And he'll even give you a good kick in the butt when you need it because that's what a father does he gives you undivided love and attention and he answers you when you need to be when he when you need to hear it the most he will always be there so talk to him as if he's right there next to you talk to him as a friend talk to him as somebody you can confide in so you know I'm I'm not trying to say that because of life that you're living you're not going to get what you want no what I'm saying is take a step back take a deep breath reevaluate what you've done so far what you are doing so far and and see look at it just look at it and see hey the things that I was doing wasn't working out for me so maybe I should stop what I was doing and get closer to God. Give him all my trust, all my faith, give him my all. And I know eventually I'll have the things that I need because that's how God works. Give and take, right? He takes your love, your compassion, your trust, your faith, and gives it back to you beyond anything you could ever imagine. So, don't be discouraged. Don't stop trusting in God. Don't stop having faith in Him. Give Him His all. He deserves it. And you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be content. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you continue to give God your faith, your trust, and your love. You know, and I'm not just saying that because I haven't, you know, 
lived that life. I haven't done that, which I have. And I'm still learning. You know, I'm not perfect. Nobody on this earth is perfect. And because of that, I know that I can make myself a better person. I'm going to continue to grow. I'm going to continue to learn from that. So, like I said, it was going to be a short video today. So just leave a comment and then I always get back to those who comment or and even if you have a page I'm done and even if you have a, a YouTube page leave it up there and I'll look up there and I'll comment and I'll you know make sure everything's great um, so we're gonna close this out in prayer like I said I'll leave the description and at the bottom of the video like subscribe and share let everybody know that i'm up here please you can also look at my sister's page she's on the jaleesa hall j-e-l-l-i-s-a-h-a-l-l -L -L. and you can even look at my mom's page which is tamara coleman t-a-m-a-r-a-c-o-l-e-m-a-n and just listen to their videos and there are other people on here as well who are trying to get this message out who are trying to tell people keep your faith and trust in God so that's it we're gonna pray and then I'll do another video sometime this week or next week and I love you guys and I appreciate you listening to this um, so dear Heavenly Father we are praying we're asking you to continue to guide us continue to show us the way continue to Give us a good word. Show us how to be more trusting to others and unto you, Lord. Show us that having faith in you is better than having no faith at all. Continue to be there, Lord, as you are. And we will continue to work on us as human beings so that we may become closer to you, so that we may be able to feel you, love you, and embrace you, Lord. I ask that you forgive all of us for our sins. Forgive us for things that we have yet to commit that you know will probably that you know has yet to happen. Um, I am thankful and I am grateful for each day that I'm able to wake up and be able to breathe and live and and know that you're there, Lord. I appreciate everything. And in this, I say. And in this, I say, uh, everybody, please continue to pray and worship and praise the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.